Welcome to Electrical U. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing this Fluke TSI 20 Plus to this HSF Tools HF 96 V. Now these are two very different ends of the spectrum as far as thermal imaging systems. The Fluke here goes for about $3,000 and the HSF tools here for about $200. Stay tuned because I think this comparison is probably going to surprise you. Now there's many, many reasons why you might want to use thermal imaging systems such as these. Just a few examples would be to checking for hot spots in electronics such as a computer, as well as HVAC, heating and AC systems. You can also check your plumbing for water leaks and proper insulation. You can even check your automotive to see if you have any loose connections that are heating up. And most commonly, electricians use these to check for circuit breaker panels. And you can even take a picture of your dog just like this. Now with that said, let's head over to that bench and start this comparison. Okay, we'll go ahead and start out with the Fluke TIS 20 Plus. Now, as you can see, it does come with the thermal imaging gun, which we'll go over a little bit more in depth here in a second. It does have this hard case inside of the hard case. It does include a soft case that's removable if you would like to carry it like that. Okay, it also comes with your power adapter. Here is a short transfer cord here. It does include three batteries with two spares here. Here is a quick overview of the Fluke TIS 20 Plus. Power it on. You'll just push this button here. It's going to go through the boot up screen. Okay, now it does have this cover right here. And if you forget to open it like I did, then you won't see anything on the screen. So we'll go ahead and flip that up. That exposes your lenses right there. That is a nice handy flap right there to protect those lenses. On this Fluke TIS 20, you have your basic buttons. You have your select button, your back button, auto manual mode, and memory. Now the memory will open up the albums and you can actually look at your pictures that you've saved. Now this Fluke does have two trigger buttons. Your first outer button is going to be for the barcode QR code scanner. Now that's a whole nother function. It could be a whole nother video. You can look that up. It's a pretty neat feature on the Fluke. The inner bigger trigger brings up your save screen and you can hit the save button and it will save your images. Now the Fluke does come with a lot of menu options. You can cycle through. Now the Fusion menu opens up and it allows you to adjust your Fusion level there, which is pretty nice on the Fluke. And what Fusion does, it allows you to change the opacity of the image with the thermal imaging on top of it. It's a pretty neat feature that both of these thermal imaging systems does include. Next you have your color palettes. You can switch between the different color palettes there. You have your spot temp, your marker, your spot box, and your center point. You can turn those off and on. And then there's the barcode scanner. And then you have your device settings like your backlight, your file format, your distance, your units. You can change your file name. You can change your auto off date, time, logo. You can add or delete that logo. You have your image storage menu there, your language. Now this is a touchscreen on the Fluke, which is kind of neat. When you cycle your finger left and right, it actually changes your IR fusion. And that's just a neat quick way to change the opacity between the visual image and your IR fusion. Now this model Fluke here has a temperature range of negative 20 Celsius to 150 Celsius or negative for Fahrenheit to 302 Fahrenheit. So it's a pretty good operating temperature range on this. It would take care of most of the operations, especially around your house or on the job. I think one of the main features to bring up on the Fluke is just the nice large screen. Now on the top of this Fluke, it does have a, a nice rubber flap here, and that allows you access to your charging port, a memory card slot, and your adapter port. Again, one of the benefits of the Fluke, it does have this cover here, so you can protect your lenses when not in use, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about damaging or scratching those lenses. Overall, this Fluke is a great model. Again, most likely going to be used by professional electricians or someone that uses thermal imaging on the job each and every day. Okay, next up is the HF96V by HSF Tools. Now, this is your basic budget thermal imaging system. This thing is actually slammed packed with features, which makes it a really good budget buy, folks. If you need something for around the house or occasional job use, this is probably going to do the trick. Okay, as you can
can see I've turned it on. Now that button also doubles as the menu button. So it does have a, a lot of features here you can scroll through. Now, one thing to point out, the HF96V is not touchscreen, so you will have to use the buttons here, but that's okay. They're really easy to use, very good responsive buttons. And you can cycle through this menu. I'll zoom in a little bit and show you a few of these menu items. So right off the bat, you have albums and what that does, it lets you scroll through any albums that you've saved. You can scroll through any images that you've saved on your device, select those, bring those back up, use the back button to get out of there. And this internal memory, just like the Fluke, is four gigs, so it'll hold thousands of different images. So no worry about having to get external memory to store those, but you can hook this up directly to a computer and view those images on the computer. You can also actually hook this up to the computer and view images live on your big screen. All you have to do is go to their website and download that software. It's pretty neat. Okay, you have emissivity. You have your distance, so you can set your range that you're going to be using this on. You have your display settings, which goes through what you want on your main screen display. You have your image settings. That's going to allow you to select your palettes through here, your color distribution and your image mode. And I'll go through those here in a second. This HSF Tools HF96V does have super resolution. So that's pretty neat. What that does is it makes your images much, much larger and clearer when you put them on your computer for viewing. That way you can look at images closer up. Okay, you can also adjust your palettes right there. Now this does have an alarm, so you can set a temperature alarm. If you turn that on, it'll allow you to set a specific temperature that you want a, an alarm to come on when you're looking at your thermal images live on your screen. Okay, and you can set your temperature range on this. And as you can see, it is four through 302 degrees Fahrenheit is your basic setting. You can put it in auto. It also do higher temperatures at 212 to 1022. So that's much, much more than the Fluke even, which is really cool for this budget thermal imaging system. You have capture mode. Now you can set that just for capture one image or you can do scheduled captures, which is pretty cool. And you can also scroll down there and turn off or on your visual images. And what that does, if it's on, it will actually save a captured just straight up visual image like you would take with a camera and it'll also take the thermal image that's on top of it. That's handy for comparing those side by side. Okay, and then you have a whole nother set of settings there. This does have a laser. I'll show you that here in a second, but you can turn that off or on. Auto power, this is more like your device settings again. Your about, your save logs, your format, your storage. You can restore your device to factory settings, pick your language. And then with your minimal buttons here, I'll show you what they do. So your up button here and your screen is going to cycle between just a visual image like that. That's just a image that you're capturing just like a camera, as you can see there. You hit it again. Now you have thermal mode. Now this is going to be your thermal imaging. As you can see, anything that's hotter is, is a darker red there. You hit it one more time. Now you're in fusion mode. So much like the Fluke more expensive model there, you have fusion mode and you can adjust this in your settings to more or less opacity. What fusion mode does, as you can see, you can still see my light shade there and you can still see the outline of it with the thermal image on top. So that's the difference between visual, pure thermal, and then your fusion adds the outline and it adds just the opacity of the visual image underneath the thermal. So that's pretty handy for reading labels or actually just kind of remembering what you're actually taking taking a thermal image of later on. Your bottom button is going to cycle through your different palettes. So as you can see, you have red hot, you have fusion, you have iron bow, you have rainbow, white hot, above alarm, and black hot. Now the overall feel of the HF96V is pretty sturdy. Now obviously it's smaller and not as beefy as the Fluke, but it is pretty sturdy. You get a good feel that it is composed of quality materials. It does not have the cover for your lenses, so you do need to be careful on not scratching or breaking those. Like I said, it does have a laser, which is that top window there. If you pull the trigger, as you can see there, it is putting that red dot right where the temperature is going to go. Now that is really, really handy for being very accurate on where you are getting your temperature reading. If you do a full pull on the trigger, you're going to capture your image like that. So that's how you take pictures and capture your images. You just pull on the trigger and it will capture that image for you. You can go back and look that on the on screen on here or on your big screen on your computer. Real quick, one of feature on the HSF tools. It is tripod mountable, which the Fluke 
fluke is not just because of the way the battery hooks into the fluke. So that is an additional feature that this has that the fluke does not have. Okay, side by side comparison. As you can see, the fluke is much larger than the HSF tools, which does make it a little bit beefier and rougher and tougher as flukes are for the everyday electrician. But the HSF tools is a little bit easier to carry. is about one third of the weight of the fluke. So if you're going to carry that around a lot, it is lighter and easy to carry. Now the resolution on the fluke is about 10,800 pixels. The HSF tools is about 9,216. So they're pretty similar. This has a little bit better straightforward resolution, but don't forget the HSF tools does have that super resolution, which is great for when you're viewing it on the computer. The image frequency on the HSF tools, which is going to make a smoother image, is about 25 hertz, whereas the fluke is actually 9 hertz. Now the field of view on the fluke is actually a 50 by 38 degrees, whereas the HSF tools is a 50 by 50. So that's actually a little bit better even with the smaller screen. Focus modes, if you're into that, the fluke is a fixed focus, whereas the focus mode on the HSF tools is a focus free. Again, the fluke has the bigger screen at three and a half inches, where the screen on the HSF tools is a 2.4 LCD, as you can see. Now, as far as temperature ranges, again, the fluke is negative four Fahrenheit to 302, whereas the HSF tools is that negative four to a thousand. 22. So a much, much higher temperature range on the HF96V. So if you're needing something in the high, high temperatures, this actually is probably your better option. Both of these meters, as I said before, have a four gig internal storage that will actually hold thousands of those thermal images. It also depends on which setting you're in, but you're going to have plenty of space on both of these to store your images and to view later. Battery life. Now the Fluke, even though it does come with three batteries, the batteries rated for about five hours, and it also depends on which mode you're in. The same thing goes for the HF96V, but this battery is actually rated for eight hours, and I'll tell you, I charged it once, and this battery is still on full. Now, as I mentioned, the Fluke does not have a laser pointer, whereas the HSF tools does, so that's a really handy feature to shoot that laser and know exactly what you're aiming at and getting the temperature on, so it's much more accurate in that matter. As far as pallets, they're both about the same. They both have the white hot black hot rainbow iron bow red hot and fusion uh, a few of those modes are named a little bit different between the two thermal imaging systems but round about the same and they both have just the straight up visual images just like a point and shoot camera as well as the thermal and fusion modes so that's good even with the budget model you're going to have that fusion which is really handy to be able to see things through the thermal image again if you're looking for a touch screen the flute does have that option but like i said this is really super easy to use it took me about five minutes to figure it out without the manual. Another feature that the HF96V outperforms the Fluke on is the thermal sensitivity. Now this is me measured in millikelvins. So the lower the number, the better. And now this is 50 and this is 60. So they're pretty similar, but actually this one is a little bit better. And that's really cool for that cheap budget model. Now what the thermal sensitivity actually does, let me explain that, is the lower the number, the more sensitive it is. And that gives you a better accurate minute changes in temperature. Now, both of these have been drop tested up to two meters. Even with the rougher, tougher exterior and bigger, larger fluke, it still has the rating of two meters without any damage, just the same as the HF96V. Now, both of these thermal imaging systems, you can hook up a cable such as this and download your images to your computer or view your imaging live on the computer with the HF96 with the downloadable software that is free. Okay, folks, that's about it. If I've missed any features that you want me to cover, put a comment below. Let me know what I can touch on next time and I can do a follow-up video between these two thermal imaging systems. And again, I'll drop links to both of these thermal imaging systems down below in the description so you can pick these up for yourself. Okay guys, after all that, I just want to point out that these thermal imaging systems are both great models. Now, something like this rugged fluke here is probably more for the everyday electric that's going to have it on a job site. It can be dropped. It's much more meatier than the HSF tools, but that is why it's so much more money. So if you're willing to make that big investment, the Fluke may be for you. 
you. But if you're more budget minded and just need one for around the house, maybe on the job occasionally, the HSF Tool HF96V will do the job. It's a solid thermal imaging system. And for $200, you really can't beat it. It's packed with features, actually some of them that outperform the more expensive flute. So check out this HF96V. I'll throw a link down in the description. Check that out for yourself and pick one up today. Folks, if you enjoyed today's video, please, please subscribe to the channel right here. It does something to the algorithm, lets it push out to so many more people. I appreciate that. Also, if you don't mind hitting that like button down below, it also helps the channel out so much. And most importantly, do not forget to watch our next video right here.